Over seven years old, but still one of the most popular plugins on the market, Omicide is Omeforce's powerful multiband sound mangler for Mac and PC. With 37 filthy and responsive distortion algorithms under the hood, each presented in three variations, and up to four separate bands of processing, it's a must-have for any computer musician. In these videos, we'll show you what each and every one of Omicide's controls does, and give some pointers to get you started with it. In this video, we'll explore Omicide's meta patches, presets, and Mellow Man system. Omicide's patch handling system, called Mellow Man, enables real-time preset morphing for live performance or studio experimentation. It centers on meta patches, bundles of 12 complete presets that can be morphed and mutated between in real time by MIDI note input. The speed and behavior of the transitions can be adjusted, along with various other related parameters. Let's take a look. To load a meta patch, click the L button in the Mellow Man panel top right. Your standard OS browser dialog will open at the Omicide library folder, which contains 89 meta patches with names prefixed by intended target instrument type drum, git, synth, etc. Double click one and its 12 contained presets will be loaded, each assigned to one of the little keyboard buttons in the panel. Click a button to instantly load that preset. The 12 presets are mapped across an octave of your MIDI keyboard, smoothly morphing from one to another as each note is played. For this to work, your door needs to be able to send MIDI to effects plugins, so check your documentation. Click Omicide's setup icon and head down to the Mellow Man settings menu, then Mellow Man mapping to choose a specific octave or the whole keyboard, and pick a MIDI channel in the Mellow Man channel menu. The maximum time it takes for morphs and mutations to complete is determined by the speed knob, which, like many of Omicide's main controls, can be annoyingly fussy due to its small size, particularly given that it can be set anywhere from 0 to 256 beats, with a huge range of fractions in between all integers up to 100. To get around this, you can enter values directly, or use left-right dragging, which we'll explain in due course. To perform a morph in default morphing mode, simply hold down the key for the preset you want to morph to, and Omicide's controls will transition from the current preset's parameters to those of the new one at the rate set by the speed knob, stopping mid-morph if the key is released. Pressing another key before the transition is complete will immediately begin a transition to that key's preset. Releasing the second key will continue the transition to the previous preset. Repeatedly pressing a key will stutter the transition to that preset, decelerating as it approaches completion. Six other Mellow Man modes are also available, selected using the Mode knob. The first four are Morphing modes. Morphing back and forth returns to the preset that was active before the first key was pressed when all keys are released. Morphing triggered ignores note off messages, requiring a second press of a key to stop a morph from completing. Finally, Morphing Sequence and Morphing Sequence Triggered have each key triggering a prescribed sequence of morphs. See the Omicide manual for specifics. Rather than shift from one preset to another, the two mutation modes, mutation and partial mutation, modify the current preset to a degree determined by the note played, making increasingly sizable changes as the note ascends from C to G sharp at the rate set by the speed knob, with A sharp saving the current mutation and A morphing back to it. B 
key, meanwhile, morphs back to the original preset state. The other two entries in the Mellow Man settings menu are Sensitivity and Density. When set to anything but none, Sensitivity modulates the Morph or Mutate speed by incoming MIDI note velocity to one of four depths, low, medium, high or full. while density adjusts the smoothness of the morphing or mutating between low, medium and high. An increasing cost to your CPU. To save the current state of the plugin as a preset, click the M button, then the preset button to which you want to assign that preset, or the All button to save the state to all 12 presets. To save a complete meta patch, click the S button, give the patch a name, and hit Save. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.